Well, good morning, everybody. Wyoming James checking in. Day number 38. Day number 38 from the Urban Micro Farm. So we are out here on the pasture this morning. Beautiful, beautiful morning. It's just calm, uh, a little bit brisk. It's uh, fall is in the air, and we are excited to be here. So we're day number 38, and all of our friends are looking really, really good. Um, I'm a little nervous, a little nervous to check in on this middle tractor, uh, the one that we had the the incident with the water bucket happened to. But we're going to get in there and check on that bird and uh, see see how see how he fared for the evening or she. I'm not sure. Well, I think I can see it right there, just over the top of the water bucket. I see the uh, I see the blue stuff on its neck. So I think that's our bird. So it's still it's still kicking, but we'll we'll do a closer look on that one and make sure make sure it's doing all right. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. I got to drop down these feeders because they look they look hungry, and uh, drop down the feeders and then we will uh, top off the waters if we need to, and then we'll just uh, do a quick look over and see that everybody's doing all right so stay with us all right so these are the two uh right here these are the two that we put that ointment on you can see this is the one with the lesser wound and that's the one with more of it um, because you can see that that one's been picked at a little bit i'm going to go ahead and reapply that now the third bird over here the one that's got his head fully in the feed scoop that's the one that got the bucket on the head. So uh, as you can see, they're all doing really, really well here. I'm gonna see if I can pull this food away from them. You can see that they're all doing, doing pretty good here. Um, they're all lively and up and moving. But uh, so I'm going to, while well, they got their head in that little feed scoop, I'm gonna go get some of that medicine and put it on them and, and hopefully it keeps those other birds from, from picking at them. So. That's what we'll do. Come on now, calm down. Here, that wasn't so bad, was it? That wasn't so bad. All right, so I had a spare few minutes this morning and I thought I would uh, share this with you guys. So I wanted to give you guys a kind of a bird's eye view, pardon the pun, a bird's eye view of, uh, of the operation here. So. I'm standing up on the hill just to the east of the chicken tractors. You can see them down there. And they will, uh, they'll head down along that road right away there. And then we should up, should end up right about center of the screen right there between us and that brown, uh, that brown shop. They should end up right about there on the road. There's a, there's a little dark patch of green there where the, there's a drainage that runs down the hill. Right about there is where we should end up. Uh, so if we back up here, you can kind of see almost looks like a timeline now we started out uh, closer to that uh, that H brace right there that corner on that fence uh, about oh, about four or five tractor lengths off of that and then you can see where we are where we are right now and where we've got to be so I uh, just wanted to show you guys this is uh, I'm so fortunate to uh, to be up here so I'll give you guys a quick 360 uh, there is Casper Mountain right there and then if we uh, if we keep on going around the corner here, there's there's where I parked the pickup and then walked over here. So that's the cobalt blue home wrecker right there. Now we're looking towards the southeast there. Now we're looking right about directly east. And then that's kind of northeast right there. 
that's a little more northeast right there actually and then right about here is north and uh, just so you know these uh, these homes that we're seeing those are West Casper homes so that's uh, oh out there just off of Robertson Road uh, I don't I remember what they call that area out there but just off of Robertson Road that's uh, kind of a new subdivision you're seeing right there in the middle uh, these are these homes are out there in uh, I forget what that's called. Uh, Westland Park is what that's called. <laughs> so, and then uh, here's kind of a neat deal right there. Uh, that bluff that you can see, that bluff that you can see right there. Um, that is the uh, right around that bluff is where the Battle of Red Buttes happened. So that's a pretty significant uh, historical area for uh, there was a, there was a big uh, conflict with the natives and uh, some troops from Fort Casper, and that was called the. Uh, Battle of Red Buttes, and then we've made it full circle right here to uh, to the tractors, and then uh, just beyond just beyond these houses is Highway 220, which heads kind of southwest towards my old hometown, Bear Oil and Rollins and Point South. So, just like I said, wanted to give you guys an idea of of what we're looking at here. So, checking out for right now. We'll be back this afternoon. Hey everybody, Wyoming James checking in with our top chicken tender, Mr. Mason. So he is letting these birds out late afternoon so that they can hopefully come out here and get some nice grasshoppers. And they seem to be doing well. All right, so the hope is that we can empty that tractor out, get the birds out from in front of it, so that it'll be easier to move and we're not running over birds. So let's give that a try. So here ends another day on the urban micro farm. Sun is starting to set, birds are getting settled in, getting watered up, feed is raised up out of the way. Now we've got a slow mover in the uh, in the center one. I think that's one of our original ones, and then we've got one that's kind of lethargic in the uh, that farthest east one or the farthest right one. So we're just going to keep our eyes on them. Uh, quick update on the bird from uh, that we pulled out of here that was really sickly. We've been giving it electrolyte water, and it'll uh, it'll drink a little bit, and then it'll spit back up, but it'll drink, and so hoping that thing is just hydrated. Hopefully, it's got just maybe a stomach bug or something gets that fixed up and, and gets on the mend. Uh, if that's the case, we'll kind of know what direction to go with these other birds. Uh, so the one that Mason tried to crush is doing well. It's out here, it was out here running around, eating grasshoppers, chasing bugs, that kind of stuff. Now the other two that had the, the uh, injuries on their hip, I can see where we doctored them up, but they're, uh, doesn't, they don't seem to be being picked at. So uh, that's it. So Wyoming James checking out day number 38 from the Urban Micro Farm.